I, you know, you think of the gold medalists, and you think of these people that have <laughs> had that fame. You don't think of the bronze guys. It's true. Why Why did this come about, and why Why write the story in this character? You know, it's interesting you said that, because when we were first starting to write the movie, one of the things that we were talking about, I'm a huge fan of the Olympics and a huge fan of gymnastics in general, and my husband and I have been... Oh, just avid watchers of the Olympics, and we always thought it was funny that the announcer would say things like, they'll have to settle for the bronze. <laughs> and it's like, they're not settling. They're third best in the entire world. Um, so we, we started talking about that, and, and also we were very fascinated with the idea of celebrity in a small town, and just celebrity in general, and what that could do to a psyche. Mm -hmm. And so we sort of combined those worlds, and there's not many athletes I can play, being that I'm under five feet tall. I wasn't going to play a member of the WNBA, so... The gymnast was sort of in my height wheelhouse. You know, there, there, there is a cliche, sports movie, right in there, very little, but you, you guys break every rule. Uh, what was the challenge of, of creating this character, who's kind of, well, not the nicest person. Not the nicest, <laughs> no, to say the least. I think, I do think it's hard, um, and there's some hesitation to show unlikable female characters on screen. Yeah. And there's this... Um, sort of push to water them down or not show as much of their raw and, um, nature or grit. And um, I think there's been sort of a, a resurgence towards that. And I think there's so many great women in film and TV who have been doing more of that. But, you know, years ago, when you think about movies like All About Eve and how Betty Dable was, Betty, I'm sorry, you look at movies like um, <laughs> All About Eve and, and characters that Betty Davis played who were so unapologetic and so bitter and essentially unlikable and there was more of an allowance for that and I think there's the pendulum sort of swinging back but we didn't want to water her down, we wanted to stay true to her journey and have everything build from that. What was the funnest on-screen relationship you had? Because you have some great ones here. I love I, Gary Cole. I love Gary Cole so much. <laughs> they're all just so special to me. And it's sort of, it's a Sophie's choice of picking my favorite because they're all just so special to me. And being the writer of this as well and getting to be on screen with these people who you imagined on paper and see them embody these roles in ways that far surpass anything we could have hoped for was just so exciting. And Gary, I had actually worked with on one of my very first jobs when I moved here. And he was so kind to me and he, I just was so impressed with how what a gifted actor he is and how he's just so there with you. And so I was really excited. When we were halfway through the script, we, we talked about this, this role would be great for Gary, and I, I was just so thrilled that he was willing to come on board and do it. This is an R-rated movie, and it I is. wasn't prepared for the language, the gymnastic sex scene. Yeah. I, how, was there a limit? Did you go, okay, we gotta go this far, but that's it? We were, there was a point where we were a bit nervous about our rating. Mm -hmm. I, I heard our producer, the day we were shooting the sex scene, on the phone with the MPAA, just describing to them what the sex scene was, because we definitely didn't want to get an NC-17 rating. And she had, they didn't really have guidelines for what a gymnastic sex scene should be because there hasn't been one. So hearing her on the phone, it was, okay, so he's going to insert his naked body into her, but she's going to be a pommel horse. He's using her body as a pommel horse, and then he's going to turn around and insert himself into said pommel horse. And <laughs> this, our poor producer was having to give the blow-by-blow, blow, no pun intended, on that. And... Eventually they just said, well, just send it to us and we'll, we'll give it the rating. <laughs>